So today we will describe ministry practicum. This is a template of the ministry practicum. So ministry practicum, let's say VBS uh, experience. Uh, I organized a VBS in the year 2021 uh, in the month of May, from May 16 to May 22nd. Um, I uh, put in a total hours of 95 uh, hours. I spent uh, three hours We've dedicated an intercession over two weeks. Then we did curriculum every day, two two months, every day for two hours for two months. Um, I did uh, the actual event was for two hours every day for six days. Um, then after the event, we prayed for you know those kind of things. So you will you will put in your time factor how you worked, and you'll get a total number of hours. And to that, they will give you the credit. They're not going to cross question, you know, but the authenticity is seen in the dates, the hours, the pictures that you will put in and things like that. Okay. So the next thing is reflective observation. Describe what went well and what was challenging. Okay. So under the what went well, you write one. Uh, we could start every day on time to... The curriculum was enjoyable for the students as well as the teachers. Or you can write it as to the student, the curriculum was enjoyable by teachers, the curriculum was enjoyable by the students. Uh, four, um, the parents were excited uh, that this has happened. Five, uh, like that we go on writing what went well. Now what went challenging? Uh, internet, because we were not able to meet uh, physically due to Corona, we had to use the internet. Many children had internet problems. You understand what I'm saying? So what are challenges? Give a paragraph each for a few things that went well and a few things that went Best to not use paragraphs. Best to write points. Okay? I'll show you a sample. Abstract conceptualization. What lessons did you learn? Describe why you think the things above went well. Describe why you faced the challenges. Give a paragraph analysis for each thing went well and each thing that was very challenging so you can uh, tell what went well and how, why they went well so that's how you can write a paragraph on that and what went wrong why they went wrong Ab abstract so first one is uh, experience reflective observation what went well and what went not go well why they why what went well why what went wrong active experimentation how can you prepare for actual improvement okay describe what you would make sure you to do the next time. Describe what you would do differently. Give a paragraph about each thing that you would keep the same and each thing that you would do differently. Very simple thing, isn't it? Not a very complex uh, thing. So that's it. That's, that's your ministry practical. I'm going to show you some samples. Any questions still here? <laughs> Did you say we have to post pictures something? Yeah. So it, as towards the end, I we usually encourage people to put up posters or videos or anything that is possible. Pastor, I have a few questions. Mm -hmm. So uh, you said like, why, for example, we could take ministry practicum, then what was it like VBS? But what if that itself doesn't come to 45 hours? So then like, uh, then I'll have like six different ministry practicums for to account for all those 45 hours. Yes, you can do that. But you should put it in one sheet. Uh, okay, you mean uh, it'll be just ministry practicum and my name and then ministry practicum, VBS ministry practicum, summon reflection ministry practicum, a prayer, uh, like uh, intercessory prayer. So like that, it will be in, in this one document only, right? Suppose you do sermon reflection. Mm -hmm. You submit to those things. You have to write as a compressed something that you did over several months. Okay. Oh, okay. So that way then it will be one, one only. 
Yeah, like you can just do that. Months. Yeah, yeah, several oh, months. Oh, yeah. So then, like, maybe a year. There's no limit, like one year or, or whatever. Time. Yeah, yeah. You can say the last one year I've been assigned to write the sermon. Oh, okay, okay. Thing. So what oh, is the work okay. you did? What is the work you did? You heard one year sermons. So if you into 12, into 52, 52 hours, you get there itself. No, you heard one hour sermons. Yeah, I mean, I don't do it every week. And one week we have like testimony or, or something. Mm. But then, of course, it will come to that because then I write and then I like sort of like proofread and all that. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And then I refer to the Bible verses also. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. oh, in that case, then I'll have only one. Yeah, that, that was my confusion. Like, So if it's already coming to 45, then I don't need that many, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. Good question and good conclusion. What about preaching in the church? Mm. Does it count or what exactly? It counts. It counts. It counts. So, like you have to give a sermon outline and all that, is it? Do I have to? No, no. Like what no. I preached in the church or? No. So, for example, um, you preach a series. Yeah. So you took time for praying for it. So how much time did you pray for it? You took time for preparation. So time you took for preparation. You took uh, the actual sermon, the series. And you, you bring it to around 45 hours. It does well. That is one. Uh, one minute. One minute. Yeah, one competency. You can submit as one competency. Pastor? Yes. So, 45 hours, how will the uh, say, calculate, uh, Pastor? Uh, how will uh, the record, if, for example, uh, uh, one year past sermons, uh, as you said, we all know the points. So, uh, how will they calculate uh, 45 hours? I'll show you. Nana, mm, can you just uh, share with me what exactly the challenges you're facing? Sunny brother, I'll come back to you. Mm -hmm, Pastor? Yeah. <laughs> uh, regarding writing and all, actually, uh, uh, I didn't uh, attend acts classes, no? Yeah. Well, that's okay. We are in the very early stages. Nobody has written. Everybody is in the early stages. So it's a good chance for you to catch up with Pauline. You cannot do. You cannot do Pauline unless you finish. Yeah, it. yeah. Uh, today I'm come, come again, sister. I couldn't. So how you. can? Okay. So uh, how can now I follow these classes faster? Because uh, I mean that in all those classes, no previous classes. So first thing is you should commit to five hours of learning every week. Okay. So you open the videos. I have put all the videos on the group. Open the videos and watch the videos. Okay, Pastor. After that? Once you watch the videos, it is easy for you to start writing uh, the acts. For example, um, once you have watched the acts videos, the, pr the presentations are done, they're recorded. Uh, the discussions are there on this thing. So that gives you sufficient information of how to read the book of Acts, what to document from the book of Acts. All of those, as you're doing it, you start putting it into a Word document. Okay, now, uh, for example, Shubha okay. said, Shubha has read 20 chapters of Acts. She has read and drawn the keys. So you read the book of Acts. And you know how the book of Acts is going to be divided as you do the video and the articles. And as you are doing that, you will start seeing that the act can be divided in different ways. Choose one of the ways. And then under each of those blocks, you write down what are the expansion strategies, what are the establishment strategies that you see in the book of Acts. So those are the keys. Okay, Pastor. So, what is the effort you have to put in? I'll just show you. Sunny, I'll come back to you one second. Huh? I need the Hannah and Patricia to start off. So, otherwise, if you push them to the next axe batch, it's like almost impossible for you to catch up. 
Okay, I I am planning to start one more acts batch. How many videos are there to watch, Pastor? There are plenty of videos. <laughs> no, but Hannah, there is no easy way. You will have to sit and watch the videos every day. You are completing one one video. In five days, you would have finished five videos. That would have given you enough for the book of Acts to read. Next week okay. you start. Next week that you week you start doing right the reading the book of Acts. Without uh, I mean uh, watching all those, we can't uh, understand Pauline. No, we are not doing Pauline. We are doing Acts. Okay. Okay. Pastor, there will be probably uh, less than twenty because this is our nineteenth uh, session only, and we have not had uh, such recorded sessions every um, in every session. Where, Correct. Yeah. So we have map sessions. We have a lot of intro sessions, and so, so well, if you could, if you could take up the acts and watch only the acts for time being. All the article presentations, right, videos, and uh, that is uh, Gordon Fee presentation, Gets presentation, and Arthur Patsia presentations. You've got the complete picture of what you need to do in the Book of Acts. And in almost every video, I give a tips on how to do it. Those the problem. Acts are less than ten. I mean, they are nine. So you got to watch the videos. That's important. Some of it may be discussions. You can forward a little bit, little bit, and watch through the main content of the videos and finish it. We have kept the videos for all of you who missed it. But the thing is, now see, now Hannah is already feeling the mountain, right? She just backlogged a bit. She's already feeling the mountain. I can feel the stress she's going through. But I don't if you have I... faith, you can move mountains. Absolutely. Now my point is. Don't come to that place. You need to use faith. It's just very easy to walk. If we follow with the pace of the force, Hannah and Patricia had time issues. That's why they couldn't initially join. Uh, so I really understand their situation. And probably if they both want to join the next batch of new admissions that will take place, but I don't know when that's going to happen. I, I'm not planning to start that immediately. I'm still trying to take them in this batch. In this batch, I'm trying to take them. If they can, because none of the the cohort has not gone significantly in front. Uh, Pastor, um, yeah, um, I think me and Hannah's sister will see that uh, we'll go through some of the videos together, like uh, one uh -huh. or two this week, and uh, we'll come back to you, Pastor. That should be, I think. Uh, that so it, 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 I understand, but it won't work with one or two videos. Because you are backlogged, you need to put in uh, two hours every day to catch up with the videos. Okay. Every day you're watching at least two hours of videos. Otherwise, you can't catch up. Okay, Pastor. So at least you get the... Then if you were to... After watching the videos, you're sitting, sitting with me. It's easy. I'm not even talking about Acts today. I'm teaching you on ministry practicum. It's a new thing. Now, nobody has heard ministry practicum before on this group. So if you catch it right now and start writing your ministry practicum from tomorrow onwards, you can complete, you can submit that to the cloud. You understand what I'm saying? So this is a different part of the course. Now, Acts 1 is foundational. That means first competency is foundational. You have, read, you have to read through the book of Acts. That if you are not able to do, you will never catch up with the course. That is about 28 chapters of book of Acts. You need to read in detail, market, and everything. So you may have to take one day off and sit from morning till evening, read the whole book of Acts, jot down all the points. You're done. It's possible. Yes, Pastor. I will, I will give my best. Let me see. Yeah. And I'd like all of your leaders, all of your pastoral leaders, like you to be equipped properly thoroughly with the word word and this course does that to the dot you will be thoroughly equipped you should see the way they take you through the book of acts acts will look completely different to you and it will absolutely make sense what the way luke wrote it in 
uh, how you can use the book of Acts now. The way I use the book of Acts in my teaching and my, uh, you know, sermons and all is, is so comfortable today because I know it in and out. I know what Paul God was doing in the, in that part of history and how relevant it is for me today as a church planter, as a missionary, as a pastor, how to work it out. So please don't just do it from the point of, oh, I have to finish this course. I have to get, that's one side of it. But the biggest side of it is that I'm getting equipped to do the work of the ministry. So uh, the most important thing is you got to keep pace. You got to keep pace without keeping the pace. It's not going to work. It's not, there's, it's not going to be a free certificate. It has to be, you have to put your life into this course and only you will get that certificate. Now, have I, have I shown you the unboxing video of my certificate? Oh, I, I actually got my certificate and I did an unboxing video of that. I don't know where it is. I'll try to find it out and send it to you all. Um, why, why I am saying that is I had the joy of receiving that from Antioch in the US. And, uh, and it was hard work I put in about, I think about three years of hard work I put in before I got my Siemens certificate. And I did that unboxing video because most of the people don't believe that it is even there. You know? So I did it. I, I got my SEMEN. Then not only did I get my SEMEN certificate, I am I'm able to teach so many people today. I'm able to equip people today, which is the place where I want all of us to get. And the material is fantastic. So it cannot be something that I will do if I have time. It has to be, this is one of my main priorities in my life today. It's, a, it's got a specific sanctified space in my life today. This is, the, this is the place where I'm learning God's word. This is the place where I'm learning to do ministry. This is the place where I'm learning to do, you know, equip myself so that I can, I can thoroughly do justice to the ministry that God has given me. The people that God has given me, I am able to give them a fantastic view of what God did in history. So that they can do that same thing today, even now in our culture and context. That's, that's the idea. So imagine all of you with a semen degree, uh, well-equipped, and all of you running your own uh, Acts batches. I am seeing that in the future, that you know you got about five, six people in your batch, and you're taking them to the book of Acts. You're taking them through the course. So as you finished Acts, I could give you five people to teach Acts. And then you are studying Paul in and you're taking batch. You know, you understand what I'm saying? It's, it's, Paul, it's like what Paul said to Timothy, you know, uh, in the presence of faithful men, I gave you uh, the deposit. I want you to pass it on to your faithful men who will teach other faithful people in 2 Timothy 2.2. 2, it is there. That same model is what we are following. Not that I am Paul or yes and that, you know, somebody else taught. I got it. I'm passing it on to you. You should pass it on to someone. As you get it and as you pass it, you will also experience the joy of the Lord. It's an amazing joy to have truth come into your hands and you faithfully transmit that truth. Faithfully, you transmit that deposit. That's an amazing uh, feeling. And, and uh, that, that I think is a critical ministry in the church of passing on the truth, the deposit, the teachings faithfully to new people who are coming up. So that requires a dedicated time. My problem is that I'm not able to get to a place. I understand, like I understand Pastor Victor had one full week gone because he was traveling for the trust meeting. That's our ministry. That's our highest priority. So that's okay. One week he lost, there's no issues. I understand that. <coughs> Maybe Shubha has a, a project to complete and she's busy for three weeks. Okay, that's understandable, no issues. But Shubha takes three, three days off after that three, week, uh, three weeks of work and completes everything in one shot. Morning till evening, I have sat and completed the thing. So, you know why? Because I know I lost five hours plus five hours plus five, 15 hours. So if I dedicate two days leave and I put in about uh, 10 hours there with multiple coffees and snacks in between and, and all that stuff, Spoil yourself a little bit for those two days. But you're able to complete. You complete. You watch the videos that you missed. And the thing is, we are keeping a record of everything we're doing. So you want to go back and watch, you can watch and get the content that you need. 
what i can do only is the tips that are there that i have learned which makes it easy for you rather than beating you know going 40 years in the wilderness and then you know no use you're not getting anywhere i am able to make you take you straight away from egypt to kenan in 11 days or 12 days that's a tip i can give you other than make you lose yourself in the desert so um, that's how we can uh, do this course so how, what level of priority are you putting it am i committed to doing this course to equip myself so that i can equip others am i committed to seeing that i get my semen in a prescribed number of years Uh, we talked about two and a half years. Uh, we would get our uh, uh, semen certificates, but it's already six months over, and we have not submitted our one competency. You see how backlogged we are in our this thing. So what happens from February when we started? We should have got it in twenty, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. We should have got our uh, semen, all of us. But now we will get only in twenty twenty six if we start now properly and thoroughly. so the, the 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 more we procrastinate the more our um, you know finish line is going further which we shouldn't do that's that's that because you know why you will keep running and you think that this finish line will never come it's a feeling of uh, i've been there that's what i'd say i i took me 5 years to get my semen because there was no one to guide me i went around in the wilderness for you know many years nobody to guide so i don't want all of you to go through that i want you to see that you complete in the stipulated time now the senior batch that we are working with they are doing excellent they're like every 6 months they finish a course they just finish poline they finish 6 months x they finish 6 months poline they're moving at a terrific pace all of them have finished their map many of them have finished their life and many of them have finished all their uh, entire semen mac ministry practicum they're submitted Especially so, in the morning prayer, they are like even talking. Like two of them, if one of them has finished, then they discuss, and then they are like, okay, they get encouraged. Like you have done so much, and then then like they are really into it. Yeah. So we need to get that to that place. This cohort, we should make close friends. We call call each other. We talk. We encourage. Spur one another. And it is just basically drowning yourself in God's word. It's amazing to be there. Imagine you learning the Book of Acts. It is just immersing yourself in the Scriptures, in in all the great things that God did through His servants. So, which we are able to experience, understand, and then replicate it in our environment. All right, I'll finish the preaching here and get to work. Okay. So we were doing. Uh, one second, let me just see if I can get you a sample of uh, ministry practice. Okay. Just one second. Hold on. <clears throat> running high fever running nose cough and crazy don't know doctor, but did you go to doctor and what did he say like why is it happening and it's like many days no you said since friday yeah so technically a patient should should take rest i from friday onwards i mean after when i was when we were in the council meeting itself i was not feeling well But after that, I had packed one to one other one to thing. So I had I know how to manage my fever, so I take tablets correctly. I never gave rest to my body. And But what I, is it like? Why why did it happen? Is it usual cold, seasonal change, or, or what? Yeah, there is climate change, and there is uh, no rest to the body. Extreme. I oh. take my body to extreme this thing. If I had rested, I should have cleared in two times, and then I am continuously exposed to people, new people coming from new places. Uh, they ca- all carrying the flu, so whether it is corona, alpha, beta, gamma, sigma, whether it is monkey pox, whether it is it's all viral only. Some kind of virus I have right now. Um, at this point, I am not choking to death, so I don't think it's corona. 
should be a simple but flow. But Pastor, can can you not like you ask us to take two days off or and then complete acts? Yeah, today. Can you that. can you take <laughs> off your acts and take two days rest? Like. So that's what I what I did today. I sent off the American church members who came, you know, who was with us. I sent them off today and I slept the whole day. So I thought I'm sending a leave note for you all today. I thought no, no, no. I already you guys are backlogged. If I should just have all take something today so for you to work with. Okay, let me just take you through this ministry practicum sample that I have done, and ministry practicum shifting the ministry online, changing the ministry paradigm experience. With the COVID-19 lockdown response, gathering as physical churches was not possible. It was in fact illegal. I had to get the entire church network of five churches in Bangalore city that are planted and propagated by me, namely the New Life Fellowship, Bangalore Information Technology Fellowship, to move online. For this, I had to work with my pastoral leaders from all my churches to convince, guide, and train them to do online ministry. I had to have several leadership meetings, personal one-to-one -one sessions, training sessions, and take sessions myself to see that the entire ministry would move online and stay online till things change. This took a weekly meetings of four hours for 16 weeks. This happened between March 20th till 30th September. We had several uh, leadership sessions where I addressed the need to move online, also the impact on ministry if we do that. We had several sessions on technology adoption discussions, the, techno the theological issues, and finally actual implementation in Sunday service church service and midweek meetings. We discussed the benefits of meeting online versus meeting physically. As my pastors were not confident, I got the churches to have combined service that I personally handled. I don't know if you all remember this. Most of you may, some of you may remember this. The whole process that I used for the shifting of ministry online had many positives and negatives. Positives, there was a lot of group interactions among leaders to deal with implementing problems, relationships developed. These are the positive things I wrote. Okay, uh, eight negatives. What did I learn? I wrote point by point. The why why did the good things happen good? Why did the bad things happen bad? Anticipation of future experience. In time of crisis, I need to keep in mind that crisis itself changes the way people think and react. <laughs> In similar situations in the future, I would see that there is more time spent discussing till all are on the same page. After the first few sessions together, it is good to get people with common issues and discuss in separate meetings to deal with issue-based anxieties. For example, I would put all the elderly into a meeting and deal with the theological traditional views. You know why, what the problem I had when I was shifting the ministry online, right? How could we have communion? How could we do that? There was a lot of theological issues. So some of the traditional people were struggling with it. So I had to deal with them, but I, I know, but I did not do it. I tried to do it in common meetings, which was a mess. I would do multiple trial sessions with those who have difficulty with technology and do a whole mock service to assure them of the possibilities. Give everyone. So hours time spent. I have recorded for four hours per week for 16 weeks. 64 hours I have included. Is it difficult to do this? Is it difficult? Yes, I think because it's a new idea and people are sometimes resistant to the new idea. No, no, not about the online ministry. I'm talking about writing oh. a ministry, writing a... Oh, no, no, no. Very easy, right? It's very simple. Very easy writing. for Shubha only. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a good one, Pastor Victor. Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> okay. So we are the... writing our experiences, Pastor. Exactly. But you have to do it in a particular way. Let me show you another one. Okay. New Life Fellowship, Bangalore, Canada Church Network, Church Planters Training, Part 2. So, um, what? Church Planters Training have facilitated by Transformation Leadership Institute, New Life Fellowship. Don't get scared with those names, okay? Nilujari Conference Center, Kamal Ram, whom? New Life Fellowship, Canada Church. So, I trained the, I'm coaching the Canada Network, okay? So, I do a lot of work with the Canada Church. Uh, when? 27, 28 February, 1st March, this thing. No number of total participants, 65 adults, male and female. Planning. The training project was carried out as part of a funding that came into our church network to develop leaders. COVID breakout had severely hampered and delayed the training. This was the second installment of the training and a continuation of the previous training. I started by engaging the leaders of the Kerala Network, New Life Church Network, to consider 
a second training as a continuation. I had several rounds of meetings with them. We discussed about the objectives of the course. We discussed about the content of the course. We also discussed about the logistics of the course and their management of the rendered facility. Total time taken, total planning time took about two hours into six sessions, 12 hours preparation of content, four hours per week for 16 weeks, 54 hours. Actual training, 2.5 days into 10 hours, each is 26 hours. Total time spent, 92 hours. I would get two credits here, 45 minutes into two, 45 hours into two, okay? Reflective observe, what went well? Look at the content. What did not go very well? Abstract concept, what are the lessons did I learn? Put the points. Active experimentation. What would I anticipate and how would I do things differently? Pictures of the training session, Nirujari conference, and the participants' name and rooms allotted. Pictures of the training program. Is it difficult? The only thing is, you need to sit and think what you did and put it into a format. Was that difficult? No, Pastor, but we have to start taking photographs uh, before leaving church. Uh, no, no, you, if, if you have photographs. If you have photographs. If you don't have, <laughs> that was a good way. If you don't have photographs, it doesn't matter. They're not, they do not ask us to put photographs. I put photographs. I'm teaching everyone to put photographs. For example, if you did a VBS, how many of you were involved in VBS? I was. Good. Put up how you got involved in the VBS. And in fact, in fact, I became two animals also. I became a fox avatar and, and I became a rabbit avatar. Yeah. So put up all that in your VBS thing and you would get easily 45 hours of uh, work credit. And you need to put it in. They're giving you the format of how to put it. And I'm giving, showing you samples of what I did. I'll show you now, Karla, uh, training one, what I did. Are there sam samples for us to follow in the in the cloud? Something? I mean, templates are there. Templates. Yeah. This is uh, part one. I, it's almost ditto for me because I did the same thing. I didn't hear I got 96 hours. What went well? What went very well? What, what did not go very well? Uh, what did I learn? What did I, what did I anticipate to do in the future? Pictures of the training program. room allotment. For me, that is how I show the work is authentic. No? Very simple, right? You don't even have to write so complex. You can write very, very simple. So each of, each of you, if you were to put in, sit and write down, you can submit one competency today itself. If I close the meeting now, you have your dinner and you start off with one ministry practicum. Uh, next week, you can uh, show it to me and upload it to the cloud. You should have one ministry practice. It's easy to write a ministry practice. But, of course, you need to really think and put all that you did into words. The time you spend praying, you can log it as your hours. Pastor Victor, you should have plenty actually to put, right? Anything that you can. Now, you did the global day of prayer, right? Yeah, that uh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. So I all did. those things you could put, like what all things I could put, like preaching I could put. I mean series. I my preaching style is always series. I do series. So put that, Pastor. The amount of time you prayed, the amount of time you prepared, and the amount of time you delivered, post delivery feedbacks and things like that. You could do the global day of prayer, the amount of preparation you did, and all of that you can do. Uh, you can put so many projects that you did in your church. Preferably within the last two years. Last one year? Two years. Two years. Yeah. Don't go beyond that. Yeah. Sure. Not that they will 
pull it up, but they prefer to have it. They prefer yeah. six months up to two years. I heard them speak in one of their meetings. They will okay. They will. They don't bother about these things much. They will look at the number of hours and clear it for you. And whether you have written it correctly in the format, they will look. They don't look at what happened, what you did, and all that. They don't bother them. How many of you can do your basic practicum by next week? One. Master, you said some templates, some formats. It's there on your cloud. No, go to your ministry practicum. Okay. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. Okay. I'll show you one second. I'm going to the cloud. Okay. In the cloud, you go to dashboard. You go to your ministry practical. And here you have artifact template. You can download it. You see? Template it will start to ask me to download. Download it and use that template. I can send you this template also of mine, which I have with me, soft copy. Straight away type it into that and upload. And this is where you upload. Is that okay? Can all of you put in effort to write one ministry practicum? Okay, let's work with that. Now, Pastor Victor is going to work with a preaching series. Pastor, which series are you going to write about? I can't hear you, Pastor. Pastor, you are on mute. Yeah. Uh, like, I have done many series. At present, I am doing Encountering God. No, so, take, take one or two series before. Before? Yeah. Yeah. And create 45 hours of work in, from that. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. So you can take one of your series and present it next time of writing you. So what do you do? Your experience first. You are going to say, mm, you know, I am the pastor of the Konkani New Life Fellowship Church in Mangalore. And I had this desire to establish the church in, in this particular area. The Lord led me to prepare on this. I spent so many hours praying and preparing. The number of hours I prayed, number of hours I prepared. Now, the number of delivery times I did and post delivery feedback altogether put a number of hours. Then, what went well? What did not go well? What did I learn? Why these things went well? Why these things did not well? What will I do in my next series presentation that I do? That's all. Submit it. Two pages, three pages. Maybe you can, put your, you can put attach, you can cut paste your sermon outlines there in this thing. Is that okay? But so it's not that difficult, right? No, I think on that I'll, I'll, do, I'll do one of the series I did. So, Pastor, next yes, week sir. when we come, can you present one? Yeah. Okay. Pratusha, what can you do? Patusha and Hannah, this is brand new. They are all hearing it for the first time. So you should all be able to do one each. Uh, yes, Pastor. I, I will start writing the uh, experiences uh, as you have described. Which one will take? Um, I will take VBS. Okay. Good. I will take the children's ministry as a whole, not VBS. Uh, no, that will be too broad. You will have to okay. take specific. Okay. okay, I'll take PBS and start writing. Okay, 45 hours you have to record, okay? Okay. Anna, what will you take? PBS and preaching after. You can't combine two. You have to take one. Okay, only one thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. 45 hours of work you have to show. Okay, can you present one next time as we should, the format we have done?
and her sister next week can you present one um give me time pastor first time no 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 this is very easy no at all difficult <laughs> one week time just focus on this only okay you and pratisha don't focus on anything just do this once others okay. can write their acts along with that right shubha what are you going to write on sermon just uh, uh, yes first i would like uh, since most of my things are involving with myself only and no interaction with much people only studying reading writing so this one will also come like that just like my map map yeah so i don't know how to elaborate because i'm thinking like how you elaborated what you did and all but then uh, what will i elaborate in like my writing sermon just it's okay the uh, number of hours you listened to the sermon itself is 10 number of hours you yeah, prepared for yeah, this uh, our scheme uh, but then what are the like, like some external challenges and all or all that and then i mean i don't know what what to include in that like detail think sit and think and you should be able to get it okay. it will come okay okay but i also thought what will i write what went well what did not go well and all the stuff sure okay sunny brother what are you going to write Uh, preaching only pastor preaching yeah okay you should uh, have a li- limited you know time just to say things you know i my i i was involved in the preaching ministry in my church for from from so and so months to so and so things this is the time i have spent praying this is the time i have spent preparing this is the time i spent delivering okay qualify us you have to build in uh printo donna what do you think as one uh, you said yeah. like uh, what did not go well and what did i learn after that you said one thing no pastor what is it uh what did you learn uh, so what went well what did not go, no your experience yes what went what well uh, the second thing is uh, uh, i'll just put up the document for you so you need to remember these four it's four topics actually experience what did you do reflective observation how did it go abstract conceptualization what lessons did you learn active experimentation at this template i will drop it on the group so that you can pick it up okay so probably write in points or if you want to write in paragraphs you can write in paragraphs it doesn't matter okay is that difficult what you did how did you go what did you learn how will you do differently print on donna um pastor i am planning to write about vps which was happened this year good yeah and uh, one doubt since uh, we can write about preaching so how about writing about uh, communion sharing can we do that but will you get 45 hours uh that we need to check i need to check exactly so suppose yeah. you take for one last one year i have been chosen as one of the exhorters for the communion table so this much time i spend this much time i did this that is possible you can make it up e- yes yeah uh, yeah combine when i am combining the like an, an, a year as mm-hmm. i can do it i can okay. take good. like what if i am yes good now suddenly you think no uh, all of you are thinking oh man i need to get involved in ministry because i don't have nothing right <laughs> it's very interesting isn't it how they stimulate you to ministry So uh, where is your ah I was waiting to hear from the man yes I thought you're not there yeah <laughs> tell me no pastor actually um I can uh, write regarding uh, how our youths I mean uh, uh, youth leadership uh, in oh, yeah. church oh, where yes. uh, like we we tried to uh, buy some instruments for the church by collecting some funds mm. uh, good one good one but we, you need to make 45 hours that you need to really work it out yeah and also by um, a mini excursion or some recreation oh yes use. oh yes please or document all that yeah it's how you word it they're not bothered about what you did okay 
Mm-hmm. They are wanting you to correctly document it. That's the only thing. Okay. Got it, Pastor. Yeah, but if you write, I did ministry in my church for the last one year and write all of your ministry together, they'll send it back. <laughs> Nothing specific. <laughs> Nothing specific. You have to put it specific. Okay. Is that okay? Your specific, can you elaborate? Like why? Like you said, said. Like you said, I bought instruments for my our youth this day. Or I took the youth on an excursion. So you'll have to tell how you prepared for it, how you raised the finance for it, how you got the people, the church prepared for it, and then how you organized, how the trip went, what are the mm-hmm. events in the trip, after the trip, what was the outcome, all of that you put it here. Great. So we can add the photos also, right? Yes, yes, yes. That's the evidence. No? Okay, great. Yeah. Pastor, for me, I have only the sermon, means uh, the preaching uh, from number of uh, years. So, mm. uh, as you said earlier, they send it back if you put all the sermons and all. So, no, uh, no, no, don't put all your sermons yeah. inside it. Don't put your sermons inside it. Yeah, Pastor. Uh, I mean, uh, can I put uh, each sermon specifically my experience on that and uh, what happened? I means what all you said. You won't get. Time. You won't get forty-five hours. So. Uh, it's number of uh, sir, uh, no, so you sir. take last in uh, last one year sermon. Yeah, pastor, last one year sermon. That's enough. You go ahead with that. So specifically about each and every one, I have to explain. No, no, not it. not each and every one. Okay. Don't explain each and every one. Okay. Pastor. What are the things that you learned in the last one year? Okay. What did you do? How did it go? Mm-hmm. What did you learn? Mm-hmm. How will you do it better next time? Okay, okay, okay. So you have a challenge there. I know that it is a bit difficult to take one year sermon and do it. So it's better to have more specific events that you did. Oh, Pastor. Okay. But try one year sermon you can take and try it out. Okay, Pastor. Angel. Yes, Pastor. I'll be writing about worship, worship leading. Okay. So what will you do? Last one year's worship study? Um probably. I mean not one year. I mean obviously it will be more than one year, but yeah, I can write about how much how I've spent my time preparing and how I have uh learned from my experience um that mm-hmm. I can improve certain things and mm-hmm. how I can do it better. Okay. So now what do you learn after having a, put these questions to you now? What do you feel that you should be doing in future? In future, what I should be doing as in? Now today, suddenly you're all put to the question, I don't have enough ministry to document, right? Yeah. So what do you feel you should do? You should get it more actively involved in? Yeah, so there are like different things that I have been involved in. but Exactly, uh, document it. But here, aren't we supposed to uh, specify one? Um... Anyone, yes, anyone. Yeah. So for elaborating purpose, we have to specify only one, right? See, when you're taking one, for example, you're preaching over the last one year or worship reading over the last one year. These are all vague ones, actually. But for example, VBS is a specific one. It's a short period. Very clear. A series preaching is very clear. But broadly, if you're talking about one year, I preached once in a while. Unless you preached every day, that would make a difference. But you can still try and attempt and put it. Mostly it should go through. So in that sense, uh, I have been like, uh, I have been roasting because that has been something. Ah, you can put your roastering work. What you learned, what you can change. That's a work by itself. But how much can you document 45 hours of roastering work? Yes, definitely, I can. Okay. Let's look at it. So it's easy to put up one ministry practicum easily by next week. Go through it and submit to the cloud. Your course is started. I want something to you to put on the cloud. So I think a ministry practicum easily you can put on the cloud. Your step one and step two of your map, you can put on the cloud. Acts you can put on the cloud. You're all set to do at least 
you know, some part of the course you are able to get on the cloud. There is no shortcut in this, okay? And there is no last minute studying in our typical Indian examination sets. If you go for last minute, no, it piles up so big. Zerubbabel dismounted before you. <laughs> Don't do that. Work every day meticulously with your work. Can I get a map next week, please? Everyone submitting a map. Submit it to the cloud directly. Don't even present it. Just open your cloud, upload your map. Let's have fun. Is that okay? So map we have to discuss. No, no, no collaboration. No map collaboration. I'm sorry, not map. Oh. Ah, you're talking about... Minister Minister practical. Yeah, the problem we put uh, MP, we put no, so I keep take, picking up MAP kind of a thing. It's MP, Minister Practicum. Let's put a Minister Practicum on the cloud. So, as you put it, just put it in the group that I've uploaded my first Ministry Practicum. When you open your cloud, you will have probably agreements to sign and things like that. Yeah. Not... Do we have to sign more every now and then? Every now and then, yes. Especially if you're not using the cloud for a long time. That's why it is saying enrollment agreement. Start yeah, yeah. Signing. yeah, yeah. Just start signing and start activating. So I'm looking. If all of you were to go right now after the session, have break for dinner and then sit for two hours, you can finish your max break and submit it by today night and go to sleep. That's what we usually do, but I'm not putting that kind of pressure on you all. And if I tell it by next one week, none of you will do it actually. In the next two days, if you can do it, you're very good. Yes, can we all work on that? Sure. Okay, Pastor. Done, superb. Any queries, questions? I'll drop some samples for you on the group also so that you can work with. Okay? Thank you, yes. Samples, that will, that will go a long way. Yeah. All right, so... Um, Focus on ministry practicum this week. Don't bother anything else. Those who can finish my ministry practicum in two days and then start working with your acts, excellent. Or with your, and the people who are ready to collaborate for step one and step two, please uh, collaborate, meet, uh, have discussions on the main group, plan out your meetings and meet and separately collaborate and finish off. Step one and two at least can be uploaded. I would like all of you to raise the priority of the course to, you know, uh, Lord, family, ministry, and then the course. That would help you to catch up. Otherwise, you'll all, you'll all die out. Many of the guys are supposed to join this meeting, but they didn't do it. All right, uh, Pastor, would you just pray for us, Pastor Victor? Thank you, Father. Loving Father, we just want to thank you for your great grace upon each one of us, Lord. Thank you for the way you have strengthened us, you have stood with us, anointed mm -hmm. us, and Lord, deposited your word, your giftings in us, and the way you have been using us, every one of us in the respective fields of ministry, areas of ministry. Lord, and I thank you for everyone here who's even working and serving you, Lord, giving their best to you. And Father, we are so privileged to do this course together that we can be an encouragement to one another to serve you and to learn from one another. And Lord, even for this course, that people who have invested in it, that it can bless us, it can improve us 
and our skills and giftings that you have placed within us can come to the fore even more, Lord. And we thank you that we could discuss about ministry practicum today. And even as we have committed ourselves to complete at least one, upload one, one uh, competency, Lord, help us that we may be able to keep this commitment. And by next week, we may be able to upload, upload this, Lord. Even those of us who have completed the, Lord, that map, we may be able to come together as well. You give us the grace, you give us the discipline, and you give us the commitment to complete, Lord. That we may be encouraged, and we may be an encouragement to one another, so that every one of us will uh, show some progress, O oh Father, and give us the grace to uh, speedily uh, move towards completing semen, Lord. And I thank you for Pastor George, in spite of his not keeping well the sacrifice and the commitment that he has shown to be with us this, this day. We pray, we unite our hearts together and we bless him, Lord, and we ask you that your healing touch will come upon him. Lord, strengthen him, take away all the, all the, all, all the uh, weakness that he has, Lord, heal him from the fever and this viral infection. Lord, we, we pray that your Holy Spirit will quicken him, Lord, quicken his body and give him that even as he rests tonight, Lord, refresh him and let him rise up tomorrow morning totally healed and refreshed, O oh Lord God. And we thank you for everyone on this, on this platform right now. Pray that your hand be upon all of us, Lord, and you give us a good night rest and whatever work that we are going to do this, this night and even in the days to come. Lord, may we be able to sincerely put in effort to see this completed. We thank you for this time. Thank you for your presence with us. We give you all the glory. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.